Hello, my lovely Taurus. So this video is gonna be from now into the beginning of April. Um, all right. So, what's going on for Taurus? All right, some of you guys can be joining paths with a spring baby. Somebody born in the spring and I see like potential. So you could be dating. You could be, somebody is marking you as their territory. <laughs> um, I hear seeing the changes in you. If you have been working on yourself, some of you guys even, you could have got your boobs done. You could have got your boobs done. You could have got your body done. You could have been shape-shifting. What shape-shifting, it could be training your, your body. What shape-shifting, it could be also training your mind. Shape-shifting can be a lot of different things. It don't only have to pertain to the body. It could be your mind that you've been shape-shifting. It's like you've been changing a lot. You've been changing from the inside out. Um, I hear no more going backwards. Like this is, this is the, this is, this is what I prayed for. This is what I wanted it to be. So this is beautiful, Taurus. It's like you're taking your power back. It's like spirit is moving mountains for you. Um, some of you are practicing abstinence or you could be, you could be in a, in a time of abstinence right now. It don't have to be like you practicing it. It could be, you've been holding back. You've been held up. Um, you're very, you're very responsible this month and not to say like you was ever irresponsible, but you're very, very focused. And I hear dress to impress. You can even be changing up your style, the way that you dress, um, the way that you approach life, the way that you see things and the way that other people see you. I hear elegance. You could be leveling up. You could be leveling up to a life of luxury, leveling up to a life of, of like elegance. It's like some of you guys can even be redecorating your house. Um, a lot of you are going to be like releasing your burdens. Some of you guys can even be be fasting. You could be doing like a, a 40 day fast um, and trying to live more simple, wanting things to be more simple in your life. And it's like slowing the pace down if, or or if you were at a time where lots of things was happening, lots of changes was taking place, lots, the world was demanding a lot of you. You could be taking a new approach. When they speak about new approach, it could be you even taking things more slower. Like having a better balance for, for this month. Having more time to relax. I see you reading. I see you, some of you, sipping wine. I see you watching TV. I see you having lots of conversations. You can, e you can even be very work-focused this month. All right? I hear if it don't pay me, then don't play me. <laughs> if it don't pay me, I ain't got time. If, this, if it's not about the money, I ain't got time. You can be really driven or money focused. It's even, it's even, I hear grinding. It's even, it's even like people. You don't, you don't really, people notice that they cannot bring bullshit to you. You could have been a person who asserted that you don't want to hear about gossip. You're even being more mindful of your thoughts. You could be, once again, shape-shifting, shaping your mind, understanding that, uh, like, the law of attraction and know that it has to do with the belief system, what people believe. You you know something that's so crazy for any of you Tauruses here that are, um, that are trying to master their thoughts or master their belief systems? It's true. I watched it. I watched people have tower moments because of their own belief systems, you know? I've watched it. It's really, really true that whatever, whatever you think, whatever you think, whatever your belief system is, it's like, that's what your reality will be. So I hear setting the tone. It's like you, you have a renewed vision of self, a renewed vision of life, a renewed vision of what you want. And people see it in you. People take you more serious. If you, people take you more serious. Let me see. You could be going to a wedding because I hear I pronounce you husband and wife. You'd be going to a wedding or an engagement party. All right. So what else is going on in Taurus's life? You telling people off. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be your substitute lover. I ain't going to be your substitute lover.
That's funny. You telling people off. I'm not going to be your, your substitute lover. Bittersweet. You have a situation going on with a soulmate in this month. Who is a soulmate, Taurus? Bittersweet. You have to you have to give up. You have to sacrifice. Somebody could have hurt you. You could have I hear you went on the dates a few times and you you had different views or this person could have changed the way you've seen love. It's like you guys had different views, di different perceptions of, of what you want, different perceptions of what you feel love is. You know what I'm saying? So this person may not even have played you. If they didn't, I hear a lot on your plate. You had a lot on, you have a lot on your plate. And when you, or when you, <laughs> or when you met this person, you could have had a lot on your plate. And it's like, you see the way that she's holding his face. It could have been somebody that you truly adored or somebody that you imagined. You you could have held them high or put them on a pedestal. Um, somebody that you you seen yourself or imagined yourself living with or being with. And, and the issue is like acceptance. Somebody couldn't accept the other for who they were. It's like people who had two different perceptions of reality. This is what I want versus this is what you want. You guys couldn't see eye to eye. This is what it was. A soulmate that you two could not see eye to eye. So for bittersweet, you probably had to give this person up or stop dealing with them. But the truth is, like, what Spirit is saying is, like, you, you thought you lost something, but you didn't. Because what's going to happen is what is lost will be replaced. I also hear a fountain of youth, which means, like, I don't know. With Fountain of Youth, I don't know if some of you guys are concerned about your age. It don't matter what your age is. Like, you look really young. People can't even tell what your age is. It's something like that. Or your perception of reality, which which I started to notice. Like, um, yeah, whatever whatever you're going through, you know, like you feel you felt really uh, stuck in this situation, you know, like you felt held back. You felt stuck. Some of you guys, you were even waiting for this person to apologize. And this is what was keeping you complacent and stuck. You were wondering what they were up to. You could have you could have been stuck on this soulmate for a while, like waiting for them to apologize, waiting for them to make it right and they they never did. It's like you had to you had to give them up. The situation could be bittersweet. It could have also been very um divinely ordered for you to leave this person behind because I hear like solar eclipse or like new moon. It's like one of the energies could have clipped this person out your life. And it was because you it was time it was time for you to level up with this person you were stuck and that that could be the bittersweet thing as well you know like perceptions like you you have a vision you know where you want to go you know what you really want and this person they could have been stuck in their life and this is why you had to leave them behind it's almost like a person that you couldn't fix you know like I can't fix you so I can't I can't fix you I can't change you and me, you being stuck and me being with you is keeping me stuck. So I got to leave you behind. It's like bittersweet. It could have been, it could have been like that. Like you had really great times with this person, but you had to, you had to leave them behind because they couldn't level up with you. They weren't going where you were going. They couldn't make the changes that you were making in your life. So you were stuck on them for too long and you had to weigh your options and release this person. I hear, I can't believe he's making me do this. Or I can't believe she tried to make me do this. It's like whatever whatever expectations they had of you is just unreasonable. Like I can't expect, I can't believe they expected me to stay up in this situation. I can't believe they expected me to settle for less. I can't believe that this person ain't trying to grow. It could have been like <laughs> expectations. Like what you, what you see as a level up or higher or whatever you feel is fit to you. And according to them, they find where they at. You know what I'm saying? So the, the the thing is, it's like you had to leave this person behind in order for you to level up, in order for you to move on in life and receive more. In order for you to get to your destiny, you had to leave this person behind. You know? It's like you're you're on a different you're on a different journey. You have to understand that. I, the, for whoever you are, and if this sounds familiar to you, to me this the, the thing is it's like honor your journey. Honor your journey. Like your your journey is different. You're unique. And with, with great uniqueness takes great responsibilities and, and 
all kinds of detours and, and, and things that are going to happen, but it's getting you closer and closer to your to your destiny. Your journey is just different. You may have to be one of those Tauruses that leave many people behind because they deplete you or they empty you or they can't keep up with you. Shit. They they can't they can't keep up with you. Some of you guys are police officers or you could have been dating an officer. Some of you guys can do waitressing or bartending. But it's like a more abundant life. You have big dreams. Like a more abundant life is where you're headed. A more abundant life is where you're headed. It's like you're headed off to your destiny. This is something that you prayed for. When you pray big, you better just be careful because you get what you what you want. But but it comes with the sacrifice. I hear paying attention to the numbers. You're probably even seeing number synchronicities. I hear dropping jewels wherever you go. You're probably a person with high wisdom. When, wherever you go, you feed people. You have higher knowledge. You have higher wisdom. And it's like a lot of people can't go where you're going. So that's like the perception. You may think it as like, damn, this didn't work out or damn. But the truth is, it's like your perception needs to be changed. It's like you need to shift in the way that you're seeing this thing. I hear even in your dream state, you even seen this person in your dream state, you were so sure that it, it possibly had to be them. But it's like, no, they were a soulmate. They were here to, to help you evolve. And now you have to leave them and continue on your journey to your destiny. Baby, you got to move. You got to keep going. You got to keep growing. It's just what you're, it's just what you're here to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, that's so powerful. It's like the world needs you. The world needs your gifts. The world needs your voice. Whatever it is that you do, Taurus, you do it really well. And a lot of people can't stay with you. If they can't grow with you, then they can't go with you. I feel like that should be your new MO. If you can't grow with me, you can't go with me. Because that's just what you are. Like, that's what you are. You're just on a very unique path. You're very, very special. A by A by ain't gonna be for you. Yes, Taurus. So... Let's see who is going to be a part of your world <sighs> Let's see who's going to be a part of your world in March All right Just know that you're going to have um, better control, better control over your direction in life. Your destiny is in the hands of the highest. I, speaking of, speaking of that, damn. I hear important decisions will be made. Like you guys are really trying to like create something or you're focused on creating something that's going to be big, baby. It ain't no if, ands, or maybes, baby. It's going to be big. That's what you want it to be. That's what it's going to be. Mapping out your destiny. You know, who cares if there's people out there in the world that do what you do? You know what I'm saying? It's like, don't be discouraged. I don't know why I'm saying this, but for any of you who feel discouraged, um, especially if you're going into the into the phase of being an entrepreneur, who cares who cares if people do what you do? Nobody will do it the way that you do it. So just follow your spirit, follow your soul. All right. All right. So how how what like this person coming towards you? What will they love about you? And I hear I keep hearing the same thing. Like everybody's everybody's beginning to notice you you know what i'm saying you can have something in your chart that's i hear like the more that you start to exercise your worth the more that people begin to see you and especially if you have a business of your own you you want to feel worthy you want to feel deserving you want to be the one of the one of one of the main people especially when you have your own business that you focus on yourself and you take care of yourself because honestly it's like you are a reflection of your business it comes from within So how, what will they love about my beautiful Tauruses who's coming your way? Some of them, they can be born in December for some of y'all. What will they love? How passionate you are, how ambitious you are. Um, 
I hear spread your wings and fly. Like you're a person who takes risks. This is what they're going to love about you. Uh, you can have a you can have a Capricorn. For some of you too, I hear like go sister, so sister. <laughs> some of you guys can really be into um, the spiritual realm and, and evolving. Um, I hear taking your time out to help others. Like you you take your you you <laughs> take your time to help others. They notice how you help others. They they know how they feel like you're well established. It's like they. They thirsty for you, baby. They want you. It's like they see you. They see you and they get so excited. They love how ambitious you are. I hear flawless. They find you to be flawless. Ain't that so beautiful, right? Because every all of us as humans, we, we can see the flaws in ourselves. But isn't it so beautiful that when you meet somebody, that they can see you as flawless and perfect? You know, a lot of people, the, the, the imperfections that you see in yourself, people don't see them. Spirit says, take your hands off of it. <laughs> um, don't, don't create more, don't create resistance on your path than you need to. They're telling you to take, take your hands off of it and just go with the flow. That's going to be a message for one of y'all. Probably two of y'all, three of y'all, who knows. But take your hands off of it and just allow it to flow. You know what I'm saying? And this has to do with you taking a risk or taking a gamble. It's like when you do it, when you put it out to the world, just put put it out and just take your hands off of it. Just just let it flow, you know? Like, let it flow. Because at, at the end, let me, let me tell y'all this, whatever, whatever this has to do with. Don't... Um, you don't you don't have control over the outcome, especially when you're putting things out into the world. You don't have control over the outcome, right? I upload a video onto YouTube. I don't have control of what the numbers are gonna be. It's like you just put things out into the world and you just, just let it flow. You know what I'm saying? Somebody somebody lost you and they're substituting the pain with liquor, like alcohol, like the outlet, because they, they miss you. Um this new person, by the way, this this new person, they love how motive, like you're very motivational. They see you like, like you're beautiful, like you're single. You're in this like singleness, and you can be a man too. I know, I know when I when I say do these readings, it's like the majority of the the, the watchers are um, female, but you could be a man watching this. But they they see you in your single energy, you know. They see that you love, like you enjoy your own self, like you enjoy your own company. Baby, you could be grown and sexy with your sexy ass. You could be one of them that, like, you know, you, 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 for some of you out here watch sports. You can watch sports or you watch the news or you just watch a movie. You have a glass of wine or you just be chilling. You just be chilling in your own energy. They love how you seem so content and free spirited within your own energy. Ugh, baby. They've never seen anything like you. It's like they would they they're amazed by you or somebody who would watch you or when you speak, they would just listen in to to hear about you. They're curious about you. Curious about about you just means this this it ooh. This is um a new energy. What do they like about you? You give them you give them bubbly feelings. You know, like when you have a crush. When you have a crush and you get those like crush feelings, you give them that crush. You make them think about like when they had a, a, a why I hear plan B? Hold up. Hold up. You give them feelings back to when they had a crush in high school. If any of y'all slip up with this person, you go and take a plan B. <laughs> Or it could be like you will meet this person, but you'll have a plan B, like a backup plan, just in case it doesn't work out. But the, the first one sounded more accurate to me. Y'all being nasty. That ain't me. That's y'all. That's what it says in the reading. I, I ain't, I ain't got to prove myself. That's y'all energy. <laughs> All right. So they love that about you. See? Ooh, your natural vibe and your natural body. They love your body. You got a natural body. You just got your natural vibe. You just be flowing and glowing and chilling. And, you, know, you know them types of people. 
see they, they love you on top i knew it you might sleep with this person if you didn't it's like they're visualizing what your body would look like if you were on top of them <laughs> they'd be there I ain't gonna go there. Not today. See, that's what I'm saying. They like the way you taste. And if you got a big old booty, they like your booty, baby. They, they so attracted to you. And feistiness. If you have like a feistiness to you, I would say like a like a stern a sternness, like a an assertive type of personality. They like it. They want to impress you. They really, yeah, you, they want, you make them happy. Then I say that you give them, some, some, some of you, this person could be out of your race. So what's going to be going on in their life when they meet you? I hear hyping you up. This person is going to hype you up. If you are trying something new in your life you'll know who they are because they will hype you up and i hear vice versa you will hype this person up too oh i like that oh i like that i feel like this is that time baby anybody <sighs> you need a supportive strong person to be your backbone in this world today this world is a is full of frauds and fakes and, and a world of fakes frauds and snakes baby you gonna need somebody who's gonna hold you down and be consistent somebody you can depend on somebody you can rely on somebody you ain't gotta guess with and if you keep meeting emotionally unavailable people, it's time for you to go within and ask your own self because you, 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 you attract from within. It's time for you to ask where, where are you emotionally closed off your own self, all right? And that's just for some of you. I hear your type. This is going to be your type. That's my type. That's my type. What your type is, baby, because that's what they're going to be. I'm just trying to tell you. What's your type? What's going to be going on in their life? Oh. I hear yes, yes, yes. They're excited. They it's like things are starting to happen for them. I don't know why this her lights camera action. For some of you, if this person is famous, they just got a role. And they're like, yes, 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 they got a role. They, they just got a new opportunity. They just got a new opportunity. They could be getting a new job. And they're happy, like, yes, 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 I needed this. This is the money that I need. They see your worth and value. It's like somebody who's been, been fighting for recognition or fighting for their way up the ladder. And this person, when you meet them, it's like, yes, yes, yes. Baby, yeah. <sighs> I'm trying to keep calm. They so happy. They they just, somebody made a decision that they want them. Like, they want them. They finally get the recognition for something that they've been doing. They, they if they've been trying to build uh, security or wealth, rich, rich. <laughs> Okay, I'm, gonna get, I'm about to go into the extended. <laughs> I'm about to go into the extended. You will know who this person is because you will feel positive about it. I don't know. That just came. But um, let's go into the extended because sometimes things be changing on the extended. Um, let's let's look into their true intentions, you know. Um Let's see if there's any third parties. And if there is a third party, let's see what's going on, baby. Let's see if there's any snakes and the possible outcomes and your advice for this month, okay? 